Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this ROS2 tutorial, we explain how to properly uninstall ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco in Ubuntu 24.04. And here, some of you might stop me and ask me this question. Why would someone want to uninstall ROS2? Well, there are a number of reasons why someone would like to uninstall ROS2. For example, you would like to uninstall ROS2 such that you can perform a clean installation in order to confirm a minimum number of packages that need to be installed in order to run a ROS2 program or a package. Then, you would like to uninstall ROS2 since the current installation of ROS2 might be corrupted and you need to uninstall it. However, the process of uninstalling a program in Linux Ubuntu is not a trivial process. This is mainly because even if we run the command for uninstalling a program from a command line, there might be some configuration files that will not be removed from our system. And next time you install a program, these old configuration files will be automatically loaded. Consequently, it's very important to know how to cleanly uninstall a program in Linux Ubuntu. Okay, let's start. First, we need to make sure that ROS2 is installed on our system. To do that, click here and search for terminal. And over here, I'm going to resize this terminal such that you can see what I'm typing and you can follow my manual over here. Typically, a ROS installations are located in this folder, opt ROS. So let's go to this folder and in this folder type this. And if you see Jazzy, and if you go to Jazzy and type LSLA, and if you see something, this means that most likely ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco is installed on your system. However, this is not still a proper verification. To verify that ROS2 is actually installed, you need to source this setup.bash file. And after that, you need to print this environment variable ROS distro. So let's do that. And let's see the output. And if you see Jazzy, this means the Jazzy Jalisco is installed on your system. Next, let's close this terminal since we sourced our ROS2 in this terminal and let's open a new terminal. And over here I'm going to resize this terminal and let's continue. First of all, let's try the classical way of uninstalling ROS2. That is, let's use sudo apt remove. And let's type this and enter your password. Okay. Now you can see all these packages that should be uninstalled. That is with this single command, we are uninstalling everything. We should be, but still you will see something will be left. Okay. And be patient over here. This should remove the bulk of ROS2 packages. And let's hope that most of the files will be removed. Okay, after that, you need to type this, sudo apt auto-remove. And click this. Now here you have to be patient. This will take some time. Let's be patient, almost done. Okay, let's be patient. Good. Next, let's type this to upgrade the packages that were previously shadowed. And let's now try to run these two commands. First of all, let's try to run this command. Okay, this is very good. Since we use sudo apt get installed to install ROS Jazzy ROS base, and then let's do this. Okay. This is good. Very good. 
Okay, let's continue. Next, let's investigate if there are some remaining hidden packages, folders, and files associated with ROS. To do that, let's first run this. And let's search over here and let's see what we have here. Uh -huh. I have this hidden folder .ros. So apparently not everything is being removed. And in addition to this, I suspect that in this configuration folder, I will also see some ROS associated files. So let's perform an investigation. That is, let's go to this folder and let's see what we have here. Uh -huh. We have log and ROS dev. And we don't want to do this, right? We don't want to have this. So let's remove this folder. To remove this folder, you need to type this RFV and specify the path to the folder. And let's remove this folder. Completely removed. Let's make sure that it's removed. Okay, we don't see it anymore. Good. Then let's go to this configuration folder over here and let's search for some configuration files. So let's do that. CD dot, let's do this config. And in this folder, let's search for anything related to ROS. Aha, uh -huh. I have this ROS.org, good. And I also might have something related to Gazebo, which is over here, aha. Uh -huh. I even have that, hmm, good. So let's go to, first of all, to this folder over here, where it is. Let's just type this, ros.org, and let's see what do we have over here. Okay, we have this .ini file. So let's erase this file. That is, let's erase the complete folder by typing this, and let's specify the complete path. Here it is. Okay, good, we removed this. Next, let's make sure that we have other things that are still need to be erased, such as, such as this gazebo folder. So let's remove the gazebo folder. Gazebo, gazebo, and let's erase it, good. Next, let's go back to the home folder. And over here, let's again search for something related to ROS or Gazebo or something similar. Okay, I don't see anything related to ROS and Gazebo. Good. However, we can still perform several additional checks. To do that, we need to install this very useful command line tool for searching the file names and folders containing a certain string. So let's install plocate for that purpose and let's update the database of plocate such that plocate can search for files. Okay, so let's start searching. So first of all, let's do this, plocate jazzy. And let's see, do we see something jazzy in our system? Uh-huh, okay, I see a bunch of stuff over here. And let's analyze what's written over here. Okay. Now, this file is my Word file, or actually OpenOffice file, or LibreOffice, so I will not touch it. These folders are actually the folders that I created and that contain videos related to my ROS tool. Similarly here, Jazzy Gazebo is the one that I shouldn't erase, as well as this one. However, over here, I see a bunch of files that should be erased, however, they are cached. That is, they are not actually so important, however, you can erase them such that you can free some space. However, they are not critical, and they can be automatically removed from the system, so we will not touch them. Okay, so let's now search for ROS, or ROS2, and let's see what do we see over here. Aha. Uh -huh. We see again on my desktop bunch of stuff. However, you st still hear here local share trash, something related to ROS2. So this is basically a trash folder. 
so this is also not important since my trash folder will be erased and so this is perfectly fine so let me erase my or empty my trash so we can continue and do it again after emptying my trash I need again to run this command to update the database for searching and then again I can repeat this command and let's analyze the output first of all I can see that I have this file over here so I can simply remove it so let's do it copy the path and over here type rm and you can do this thing and erase this file and of course you cannot erase this since you need to do sudo and then you can run this good then let's see what's written over here these files over here are on my desktop folder and they are my video files consequently they are not ROS2 files however I see over here the two files that should be erased so let's try to erase these files let's again type sudo rm and then rfv and type this to erase okay then let's remove the second file that is this file and then let's type this sudo rm rfv and the name of the file good and now let's again update the database for plocate and then let's search for files again and let's see what do we see here okay so everything seems to be fine right now there are no additional ROS2 files so again to make sure that we have properly uninstalled ROS2 let's try to source any of these files for example this setup file and we should see that we cannot do it this is perfect and an additional test would be go to go to that folder optros and to verify that everything is erased you can also try to type ROS2 and this should give you command not found or you can type gz sim to try to run gazebo oops I made an error here I need to ex exit gz sim and good this is very important okay that's all for today I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons thanks a lot and have a nice day